New this morning, the woman charged in connection to the disappearance and presumed death of Jennifer Farber Dulos will be facing a judge tomorrow. But when Michelle Traconis appears in court, she'll be standing next to her new attorney. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamaris is live outside Attorney John Schoenhorn's law office with the details. Eva? Good morning to you both. This is yet another turn of events in this case for the past eight months. Michelle Traconis has been represented by attorney Andrew Bowman, but that recently changed. Now, it's been more than eight months since Jennifer Farber Dulos went missing from New Canaan. She was last seen alive, dropping off her five children at school. Three people have been charged in connection to her disappearance and presumed death. Her estranged husband, Fotis Dulos, his former girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, and Kent Mawinney. As the investigation into what happened continues, Continues. Traconis now has new representation. John Schoenhorn, a Hartford based attorney. Eyewitness News spoke with him and he did shed new light on their defense plan. He told us English is not Traconis's first language. So a Spanish speaking interpreter will be in court tomorrow. He also wants to get his hands on the interviews that she did with investigators in English, questioning whether there was a language barrier. Schoenhorn says he's prepared to fight the charges against her, which are conspiracy to commit murder, hindering prosecution, and tampering with evidence. She has not been able to defend herself. She has not been able to say or do anything to demonstrate uh, that she's innocent of these charges. So unfortunately, when the big fish gets away, uh, the law enforcement is now going to turn to uh, what's left. And if it happens to be the little fish, you know, all the more reason that someone in that condition in that situation needs a strong defense. Now he tells us that the first order of business is moving the prosecution from Stanford to Hartford. He's also hoping to do away with house arrest. We are hoping to learn more from him and Traconis at court tomorrow. Live in Hartford this morning, I'm Evans Channel 3 Eyewitness News.